home. I'm Sally Sanger, daughter of Fred Sanger. I'm Robert Sanger, the eldest son of Fred Sanger. I was born a lot later than Robin and um, he was working on DNA by then, not the insulin uh, stuff. And there used to be acetates, I suppose they were, um, with patterns of DNA on them. And he would bring those home, lay those out in the dining room. Um, and I remember him a lot of times standing there holding them and reading them. And so I think he was doing a lot of um, development of his theory at home as well as in the, in the lab. I understand that the current methods of sequencing DNA are kind of based on Sanger sequencing. In that sense, I would say enormous. If you think of all the developments that they've been in DNA and what we're using it for and its future in medicine, it's yeah, pretty phenomenal. So he might not be that famous, but he's there behind helping to push things forward. The first one was an amazing adventure, that was. We flew, and I mean, that was one of the first times I ever flew in an aeroplane, we flew to Sweden and suddenly there were all these kings and queens around and, and you have to sort of take them for granted. <laughs> and it's most amazing that sort of being in that sort of surroundings for a while. And there was always someone there to help him. And so, so I remember at the same time of the second one, that I said, no, no, that can't be possible because you can't win more than one for the same subject. And I remember my mum running up really excited, saying, oh my God, oh my God. And I kind of guessed what had happened. I said, he's won it again, hasn't he? and uh, he had and he was absolutely thrilled and he looked pretty shocked he was very surprised i think that he was thrilled a bit for days afterwards he was far too modest yes he would never show off let me get on with that and uh, so you had to show we have to show off for him uh, but he was yes indeed you see it he just didn't he liked to be able to get on to the next task as well and i think he was always looking for something else to research hence you know he started off with the protein in insulin and then he went on to working out the sequences of these things and he went deeper and deeper into what a subject or he found a new corner to go around and find out what was around the next corner. I suspect he would like to beat in cancer I sometimes think and that's because I think my parents did, yeah his parents died, his mother did, cancer and I think that was one of the things of the great search to anything to do with medicine. I mean, that's the important thing. His father was a doctor. And of course, his employer was the Medical Research Council. And I think it is actually to make the world a better place. Was, And, uh, you know, I think he was quite keen that people should live a bit longer, if possible. And so I think he liked the fact that, it, you know, particularly with the benefits that penicillin had, for, uh, yes, for insulin and so on. And, you know, the di heads of the diabetics were better off. And there have been massive steps forward because of what he discovered in sequencing. So I think, yes, any sort of search like that, it's his inquiring mind, without a doubt. Yeah, he was very persistent, where other people might have given up. He would carry on. And perfectionist, he was definitely a perfectionist. Very much so, and wanted that from other people as well. He recognised talent, and if he could help that talent, he would certainly do that. And he'd go to great lengths to do that. Oh, he was always taking us on adventures and things to do. He was very keen on, you know, exploring, as it were, I would say. <laughs> Finding out what's around the next corner. And we used to go for the weekends. We'd always go out on a Sunday, walking in the countryside somewhere. And with plenty of that, he got into sailing in a big way. But that was more towards the time he was retired.